Bear Squad, what is up? We're in for a long one today. We're looking at like a 30 minute video. So what we're doing is we are going to convert everything in our soda machine at our Subaru dealership to cans. And this is going to require me to fill this machine up with a ridiculous amount of product. <laughs> so we are in for a whole bunch of fun. I'm gonna show you the switch over process and pretty much everything I did. Funny story though, after, uh, after doing this, I went to another location to install, uh, to upgrade the location really, to install credit card readers and stuff. And uh, I didn't get any of it on film, but what a long day. I actually, uh, I have to go back tomorrow morning. Um, technically it'll be the morning of the day this video is aired. I have to go back and uh, continue working on it. I've never had to fabricate as much as I will be. I'll make a video about it and I'll probably try to film some tomorrow and uh, you guys will probably see it Friday but holy cow man we did make quite a bit of money today uh, when I switched everything over I had to I had to pull the money out of the bill acceptor and I think we're gonna show that right in this video um, so we'll, we'll have you guys come right with me this place is uh, I've built some real rapport with these guys uh, they absolutely love me and uh, what I did when I pulled everything out when I pulled all the 20 ounce out of this location I just gave it all to them a lot of it was coming up on its expiration date and uh, these guys are actually super happy that we're making the uh, can conversion so I'm, I'm really excited about this I'm excited about the change I'm excited to uh, to really make a different setup in here I'm excited to show you guys this is a Royal 660-8 and I'm really excited to show you guys the process into changing the machine um, you can see it's set up for bottles mostly right now. And I don't tend to film this stuff too terribly often. Because I, I don't really change stuff too terribly often. But I'm really excited to uh, show you guys what we got. Now we're pulling the Moxie out. We've got... I'm really just filling up this, this crate right here. And then we're going to start moving stuff around. So we're going to pull this little tin thing. I don't know what that's called. A shield maybe. Shield up. Pull the rod out. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, there are two little holes that this rod can go into. You might be able to see a bit better now. And we're moving the rod to the secondary hole for the cans. I actually got that done really, really quickly. I've gotten really fast at it. It used to take me forever to do that stuff. Now that I've been doing it for so long. I'm pretty quick at it. I'm gonna fill these cans up. This is actually when you have the uh, 12 packs. When you buy the 12 packs for super cheap, and uh, you use those instead of the 24 packs, these little crate things work really, really well to fit 24 into. <laughs> you can see. Uh, if any of you were participating in the live stream, this is the location that I was showing in our software uh, that I was concerned about because they were almost out of a couple of things. Particularly, they were almost out of Sunkist, which you can kind of see there. Uh, we're not going to get to it just yet because we have to fill the root beer first. But I was really concerned about that. I'm gonna pull up a browser here while we're while we're narrating this and look at uh, we're gonna look at what it's at right now. These guys we're gonna get to it eventually, but these guys were super super excited about having Monster in there. And for some of you guys who have been with me for a while, you know that uh, Monster was actually an issue not too long ago. We were coming up on expiration dates, and we wound up stopping. I ended up stop carrying it for a while, but the sales on Monster have just skyrocketed. We, we got that new location, and these guys say, like I wound up putting putting it in a double column here. These guys really seem to think we're going to go through a huge amount of Monster. 
So I'm actually going to pull it up and tell you how many monsters we've sold since I did this. I filmed this three, four hours ago and I'm editing it now. So that's something that's great about being self-employed. I can, I can do the work and then continue to do the work. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Subaru RVCC 660. There is already 1450. Wow. There is already 1450 in the cash box. I am impressed product map. Okay. So we have sold five. Yeah. We sold five, uh, monsters since I left. I'm going to go fill it up tomorrow. Like I'm going to fill it all the way up tomorrow. Uh, it's got a capacity of 48. I really hope, <laughs> I really hope that, uh, that will hold them off for a long enough period of time with it. If they're doing five a day, that's like once a week that I'm going to have to be down there. Even with a double column, I might have to, I don't know. Maybe it'll die off a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of like, like thoroughly impressed right now. 14. I left when there was, there was 19 in there when I left. That's pretty impressive. That's nuts. Sunkissed, we sold two. I had this pretty much maxed out. Uh, Cherry Coke, we had 48 in there. There's only 45 in there now. Uh, Minute Maid Lemonade, we had 48. There's 47. Ginger Ale hasn't moved. Water hasn't moved. Um, Sunkissed, we had 52 in there. There is only 50 in there now. That's pretty cool, though. That's, uh, the machine is... Machine's doing really, really well. So back to the actual video here, seeing what we're doing. We're working on the next rod. Gonna make this cans only. What's really interesting, or not, I wouldn't say it's super interesting, but um, you can make a back column a bottle and the front column, column a can. And we have to do that with the ginger ale. The ginger ale, we're going to pull it out and put cans in, but we have to keep the back column as uh, bottles for water because those three columns are all designated for one button. Which is actually, uh, that's actually what I might do if Monster is selling too fast here. What I might do is take the water, put it where the Monster is currently, and put the Monster where the water goes so we have a triple column of Monster. That'd be nuts. I, uh, I double checked to see what the competitor's price was, and by competitor I mean the convenience store next door, and I am actually beating them. <laughs> the uh, my competitor is two eighty nine for a can, and I'm selling it for two fifty. So not only do they not have to walk across the street, but they are also saving money by purchasing it from my machine. And these are a whole bunch of sales guys that drink the monster, uh, so they. They work really long hours and they're going to be straight out. These guys wind up talking to me quite a bit. Uh, we'll see it later on in the video here. But I'm really excited to have this. Uh oh. <sighs> it's not late at night or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm really excited to have this machine completely switched over to cans. Um, I was even, was even more excited when... Uh, when I found out that these guys were happy about the cans, I just realized I have to update the pricing in my software. Software is uh, telling me it's different pricing than what it is. Although it doesn't really matter because the machine is programmed at a certain price. I hope that that doesn't affect I hope that doesn't affect what it tells me is in the cash box. I wonder if it does. That's super interesting. So this should be one. Um, as, as we're talking here, I'm, I'm updating everything. <laughs> cash box level 14. Yeah, everything looks fine. Everything looks good. All right, so where are we at on the screen? I wasn't looking at the screen. 
while I was narrating. I should really look at the screen while I'm narrating, shouldn't I? Um, so we're gonna head back. We need to get more product. We gotta go back to the van and just load up on whatever we can. I didn't get it in the right order. We need, what do we need? We need cherry coke. We need Mark's root beer still. We need water. We need quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of it. Here I am loading up, flipping eight of these things. We only really needed four. <laughs> originally, originally we needed way more. Originally we would have needed eight if we were gonna double column it, which is what we're, we almost do, but they said they want a whole bunch of monster. So I'm gonna get them a whole bunch of monster and that's how we'll work, how we'll work it out. There's the water, got it. Got the water, we're good to go. So you guys like the mellow music, huh? We're gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in this yet. I'm just dubbing it right now. So I don't even know what kind of music is playing right now. But I will when I'm done dubbing this. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stay with the me mellow music though, the relaxing kind of thing. Uh, it seems like people are really into the whole relaxing thing. I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of you guys um, comment below. I want to hear. I want to see how many people made it to 11 minutes and 38 seconds. I really want to hear uh, how many of you guys uh, just lay the phone down or whatever and just kind of listen to my voice. So I've seen a lot of comments where people like uh, like my voice, which is interesting to me. Do I have a soothing voice? Is my voice soothing to you? <laughs> that wasn't creepy at all, was it? So I'm really excited to, uh, to have this, to have all my credit card readers up. It's going to happen this week. This week's busy, guys. It's it's my first week self-employed. Monday, we did the live stream, so it wasn't like super busy. It was kind of laid back. We got a video done. It wasn't like really difficult to do. But today, today I did this, what you're watching right now. I also went and serviced another location and started installing uh, everything at the other location. I wound up working from, God, what did I work? I worked from 8.30 to 6 p.m. Pretty crazy. This guy right here, he's asking me about the monster. He's like, I, I want monster. Can I have a monster? And uh, this, is, this is how you really, really win customers over. Watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. This guy says the same thing. He's like, where's the monster going to be? <laughs> Super excited about the monster. And, and there it is. Well, you can't really, you can't see him do it. <laughs> I gave him a free monster. I said, you can have a monster, man. Uh, he's asking how much the uh, monsters are going to be. And they're telling me that the uh, competition charges $2.89 for him. Uh, at two dollars and fifty cents we're doing pretty darn good well I hope my price is saved I'm, I'm looking at this and it's telling me well what just happened everything moved weird so that guy right there is the only guy that drinks the moxie and we had like two cases of moxie that I gave them. He was ecstatic. <laughs> he was pretty darn excited about it. I don't blame him. I'd be excited too if someone handed me an entire case of my favorite drink. I don't like moxie. I actually am not. I'm trying really hard not to drink soda. Failing, but trying. I'm going to have me some water instead. Good stuff. So we're working on the root beer. We had to get the root beer in there so we can fill up the sun kiss. The sun kiss was actually the reason we came a little bit early because I thought we were gonna flat out run out of sun kiss. And if I didn't show up, we probably would have because it was almost gone. 
We have people trying to sell me 501Es right now. I'm not super big on the 501Es, but I am learning them, which is good. We're gonna get this guy full up and good to go. Now I'm curious, I wanna know how many of you guys have vending companies and how many of you guys just like listening to me talk? How many of you guys are going to start a vending company? Ooh. Or how many of you guys have other side hustles? I've got so many questions today. Questions galore. Who's excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake? Ooh, snap. I probably shouldn't talk about that on this channel. <laughs> I'm excited for Final Fantasy VII because I'm a nerd and I love that stuff. That's that guy again asking about the... Oh, he wasn't asking about it. He was just recommending that I put the double column in. I can't remember if... Uh, I can't remember if right then and there is when I decided to do it or not. Yep, it is. We're about to do it. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and line up that back shim. Then we gotta line up the front shims as well. So if you see me, you see what I'm doing there is I'm taking the can and I'm putting it in there just to see if it fits sliding up and down. Because often, really often with me, I will, uh, I'll put the shim in there and then start filling it up and then at the top it'll be too tight and at the bottom it won't because I wasn't paying attention. It's one of my flaws. It can definitely be difficult sometimes. But There we go. Good to go. Perfect. There, I did it again. I was actually at Walmart right after this and I found uh, I found Monster for uh, $1.45 a piece. I was super stoked about that. It was four packs, and they were on the they were on the rollback. They're probably on rollback because their dates might be coming up. But I think I'll go through them pretty fast. Now I wound up servicing wound up servicing this location. I think it was at like ninety six dollars or something like that. And I wanted to let it keep going until it hit two hundred. But there's no way we would have made it because the Sunkist was just selling too fast. Well, it looks like Cherry Coke is selling a lot faster now that it's in a can. I say a lot faster. It sold three cans today. We actually sold a lot today. I'm kind of surprised at how much we sold today. Uh, so we got, what, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we had ten sales today. It's crazy. Crazy stuffs, guys. Crazy stuffs. If I look at the dashboard, it's actually way more than that because I tested each column. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I actually filled everything up um, in the software after I tested all the columns. There's a whole bunch of noise upstairs and I have no idea what it is. Oh, you know what? It might be the wife on the sewing machine. That's probably what it is. That is probably what it is. She's been in craft, mood late, craft moods lately, which is kind of cool because uh, it's like around Halloween time and she's really starting to get, she's starting to make like costumes and stuff. It's neat. This is turning into like a podcast. It's turning into like uh, me just talking about everything and anything while, uh, <laughs> while you guys watch me work. <laughs> I like doing it though. There's going to be money at the end of this video, guys. There's actually going to be money at the end of this video. We're going to see it. Funny, I, I like stopped recording. Like I was like, okay, that's all the recording I'm going to do. And then when I realized I actually had some more stuff to get done, I was like, screw it. Let's just keep going. So I did. That's what I did. I just kept going. The hat, like, it starts to hurt your head after a while because I've got a fat head. Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. So what we're doing, I took all the, uh, I took all the water out, and we have to pull that rod out and set 
the little thingamajigs for cans in the front and bottles in the back. Now we're done with that. We don't really have to change any of the rods anymore. We do have to change, we do have to change the shims up top though. First we're gonna go through and complete, well, we don't completely fill the water, but we fill it as much as we can. I put a whole case and plus some in there, which is pretty good. We'll be all right. I think in July, these guys went through three cases of water in less than a week. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. This location did really, really well in the summer. I hope it does really good this winter too. you think that they would with the tire sales increasing. I know for sure that my tire, my tire locations are definitely doing really well. We have to, we have to fill up VIP tomorrow after fixing whatever I have to buy a sander <laughs> so oh man I can't wait to talk to you guys like I'll I'll narrate about what happened with it when I get the footage tomorrow and you guys will see the video Friday but I cannot wait to talk about how difficult it was to make that machine to get that machine upgraded it's not even done yet <laughs> it's gonna be a good video um, so I had one comment where someone uh, asked me to make my videos longer. That's why I had the idea of making a 30 minute video today. And um, I'm curious to see how it performs. Uh, my 20 minute videos usually have like an average watch time of anywhere from seven to eight minutes. So you have some people who watch them all the way through and then you have some people who just click on and then click off. It's no big deal, I don't really it, I don't really mind. I love that you guys watch my videos. I, I love the people who comment. You guys are the best. I love having conversations with you guys. I know I can't get to every single comment all the time, but I try to. I think I'm getting sick. I've got like a little nasally thing going on. And got the snifflies. Oh, yeah. Uh, shameless plug here. These are... Uh, labels that I got from Ernie at uh, I can't remember the name of his website now but it's in the description below if you guys want soda machine labels like this click the link in the description below and uh, I actually get a little portion of the sale so it helps the channel out and you get really really awesome labels the labels are crazy awesome I love them Ernie thank you so much for these labels bro they came out beautiful. Ernie, if you watched this far, comment below and say, I watched this far. <laughs> I don't know. This really like worried me a lot. It's just a random broken harness. And like I see another harness plugged in, so I'm not like super worried about it, but I was like, what's going on? Um, I don't know if I've talked about it before, but we've had an ongoing issue with this machine with the drop sensor. Oh, I'm programming it right now. I'm programming all the prices in and the SDEP and all that good stuff. But for the longest time, we've had a huge issue with the drop sensor, and I think I fixed it today. Uh, I found the adjustment, and what I was doing is I would like kick the machine, and if I kicked the machine and the light on the board came on, uh, I knew that the drop sensor was a little too sensitive. So I just kept kicking the machine and turning the sensitivity down until it wouldn't go off when I kicked the machine. And then I tapped the, uh, I tapped the area where the soda would fall just to make sure that it still works. And it worked. So I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure if we solved the problem or not, but I really hope we did. So there's the point where I... <laughs> turned it off and I was like, yeah, we're done for the day. And then I realized, ah, we're not done yet. We still got stuff to do. I had gone back out to my van and got uh, 24 more of the ginger ale so we could have the machine completely full outside of the monster. We gotta buy more monster, obviously. But uh, super, super excited to have this machine full. I'm really excited to have it above 30%. The machine, like, so the software that I have for the credit card readers tells me the percentage of how full the machine is. 
And uh, I'm going to open it up right now and tell you what the percentage is right now. It's probably in the 90s, actually, which is awesome. I love seeing it in the 90s. Uh, Claremont, 87%. It's 87% full, which is still pretty good. Ooh, snack machine at the salsa bottling plant is 78% full. Oh, we got cash. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Didn't see us pulling the cash out of there. <laughs> I wonder if they have any uh, bin outs yet. No bin outs. Good, we don't want bin outs. That's good. So I'm going through and uh, I'm testing each column. And you're gonna notice that I have to put a couple dollars in on a few of the columns and that is what leads to us messing with a drop sensor. Because I just wanna, I wanna make sure everything's working good. These guys are really great group of people. I wanna make sure everything's up to par. This was the first machine I ever had that had a credit card reader on it. And I have fallen in love with those Nyax touches. Speaking of which, if you are looking for those credit card readers, uh, there is a email in the description below. Uh, give my buddy Harry a uh, email and he will hook you up for the best deals. Use him. He's a great dude. Helps me out all the time. You get really awesome deals if you uh, if you buy six or more. That's that's when you really start getting the deals. I just bought six or I bought seven of them, and uh, I was really shocked at the difference. <laughs> when you buy things in bulk, it's always better. Always better. We're at the 26 minute mark. Holy cow! It's a long video, guys. It's a really long video. I'm. I really want to know who makes it all the way to the end. What uh, what should I do? I should do like a maybe there's like a random word generator. Maybe what should I do? Long haul. We're gonna say long haul. If you comment long haul below, that tells me that you watched this video pretty much all the way through. You made it all the way to like the ending. So I want to see so many people comment the word long haul. Is long haul one word or two words? Long haul. It's two words. Long haul is two words. My bad. I'm, I'm horrible. I know. So what I'm doing right now is I'm adjusting the sensitivity to the machine. And I turn it like all the way one way to try to figure out what way is doing what. And I figured, I eventually figure it out like one's sensitive. I think turning it to the right makes it more sensitive. Turning it to the left makes it less sensitive. You know, I kind of want to look at the front of that bill acceptor because I'm having a bill acceptor problem right now. But I can't really, can't see it. Can't see it. I need to see it. Oh, well, it's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. We're going to sit here and play with this thing for a while. Get it done. Get it done. We've got to put everything back that we borrowed, except for one can of root beer. I could not, for some reason, I couldn't get the last can of root beer to go back in. I tried. It just didn't happen. It was fighting me the whole way. It's like, no. It's not going to happen. Oh, there it is. You see me fighting with it. I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. I gave up. Put it back. Put it back. We're good. And roll right into it. Close everything up. And bam, she's beautiful. Such an awesome machine. I'm gonna clear everything up real quick. It's actually pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Remember, if you wanna help the channel out, go ahead and check the links in the description below. Have a great day, Bear Squad. Peace out. Oh, crap, we're still going. Hold on, ah, shut off.